and welcome to our next Q&A session all about fasting. Today I have the pleasure to speak to Dr. Jose Manuel Garcia Verdugo, who is the medical director of the Buchinga Wilhelmi Fasting Clinic in Marbella. Hello Dr. Garcia Verdugo and thank you very much for taking the time to answer some of the questions our followers are having about fasting. Good morning and hello to everybody and I hope I can put some light in the uh, questions that our patients or friends uh, always send to us. They were asking when is the moment to stop a fasting. First of all, uh, Buchinger used to say when you begin to feel hungry is the moment to stop because during fasting time normally you don't have hunger at all because we produce when we begin to burn our fats then we produce acetone and cetonic uh, bodies and then we don't feel at all hungry. Depending how much fat you have in your body, your fasting will be longer or shorter. But uh, always, if you are in a, in a medical uh, surveillance, like in our clinics, then uh, your doctor will tell you when is the moment to stop. We always recommend the ideal fasting minimum should be two weeks is the real good one because you have nine days fasting and four days readaptation to, to the normal uh, food again. If you have a serious uh, illness, then three weeks will be much, much better. And normally during this period, you are visiting your doctor at least twice a week. You have every day the control with the nurse. If something is changing, then immediately we will be informed and then we'll see the, the patient. But normally, in, in normal fasting, two, three weeks, you have no problem at all. In long, long ones, like people, like one month or more, then you immediately, when sometimes you get bored, because even with the smelling of the soup or the juice, you, 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 get, you cannot anymore. So it's, it's time to change. Sometimes it's good to make, for example, like a week, if you want to make long, long-term fastings to make, for example, two, three weeks, then to stop and make one week eating low calorie and then begin again, sometimes it's much better. So it depends, it's individual. We have always to see the person uh, because we are not machines, we are persons. Hmm? But it's always uh, easy because we're going to be under control very well. I think for the patients in our clinic that is absolutely clear because we have very tight control mechanisms here. They are seeing the nurse every day and the doctor regularly. Uh, what would symptoms be if people fast at home where you would say this is really something where you either should see a doctor or immediately stop the fasting? Well, normally, the, for example, blood pressure is coming down quite uh, quickly. And if you have a very low blood pressure, normally it can be too low and then you feel very tired or dizzy or you have like uh, heart complaints like palpitations or, or, or also some, sometimes the acetone is uh, rising up a lot because you are burning a lot of fat and you feel like a uh, sensation of nausea, vomiting. So that's moment to always, it's very important to drink enough. Huh? That's something that sometimes in, when you're not under control, you can drink, you need, between two and three liters of liquid every day. If you suddenly feel you are hungry and you have pain in your stomach, so it's a moment to stop. But I never recommend to do by yourself without any medical surveillance, because you know, uh, we are not our doctors. We, we have to be sometimes in the hands of the uh, good specialist. Huh? So in case of doubt, if I have any symptoms that I didn't have before, I should definitely immediately ask, my doctor. ask the doctor. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, that was very interesting. Uh, in case you have additional questions, uh, feel free to post below this video and follow our channel for more information about fasting and hope to see you next time. Bye bye.